What happened today was two to three hundred um, demonstrators outside of 130 Pearl Street, and I understand their frustration over the incident in, in Minneapolis um, and George Floyd situation. And I'm glad it went peacefully. I'm all we supported the peaceful demonstration. I don't think the demonstrators realize that we are probably just as frustrated as they are over that incident. It was an egregious incident. It's indefensible. Um, the chief fired the officers right away, and I'm sure charges are, are coming soon. So um, to do more damage for somebody to get hurt now after that, I think, does nothing more than take away from the memory of, of George Floyd. So. I, I think that with a little conversation, maybe some of these people would understand that we feel the same way. I've always felt that there's no one who hates a bad cop or someone who does such, a th such an act um, than a good cop, because we've made a lot of strides here to build relationships with the community. And it happened so far away and had nothing to do with us here. It's frustrating for us to watch our relationships erode over over such an act so um, to let the citizens of Springfield know that is not how Springfield officers are trained we have a strict use of force policy um, when they train defensive tactics it, it's um, expressed that there's no weight to be put on the head neck shoulders or spine if we can not do so I'm all about non-lethal weapons we've updated the tasers we, we train constantly um, so it, it's just a shame and it's just as frustrating to us that this happened as I'm sure it is to a lot of the citizens. Now, um, I, I've been here since the beginning and I did notice there were a couple times where things got a little nerve-wracking to see if things were going to get worse. Uh, talk about your, uh, your officers, um, the way they handled it and the way that they helped de-escalate anything that could have I, I thought the officers handle, handled it well. I, I mean, it's tough for anybody to, to um, get yelled at or, or, or see, you know, lawlessness. And, and, but on both sides, I, I thought they did well. I saw organizers de-escalate people who were getting a little hot, and I saw the officers control their temper, and it ended the way um, as best as it could. Uh, they, they got their point across. The officers held their line. There was no destruction of property. There was no lawlessness. Um, and, and they went their way. And, and I think, I wish that's the way it could be going across the country. You know, uh, when, when you destroy property of somebody else who had nothing to do with this, that just makes hard feelings all, all around. And, and, it, and it, it eats people up inside and it causes for, for more bad feelings. You're not, we're not going to make peace or honor George Floyd in that way. So just to make clear for, for me and for people that are recording this at the station, there were no arrests or anything like that? There, there were no arrests. There were no injuries. There was no damage to any property. Uh, they came. Um, they made their point. They're upset and frustrated. And as upset and frustrated as we are, we acted professionally, calmly and coolly, and, and, it, and it had a very good ending.